What is trauma? When I say that word, it is likely that every student will have a different image come to mind. Please share your initial reaction in a discussion board post. I'd like to share a couple different official definitions of trauma with you now. As defined by the American Psychological Association, trauma is an emotional response to a terrible event, like an accident, rape, or natural disaster. Immediately after the event, shock and denial are typical. Longer-term reactions include unpredictable emotions, flashbacks, strained relationships, and even physical symptoms like headaches or nausea. While these feelings are normal, some people have difficulty moving on with their lives. So that's our first definition. Our second definition comes from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, abbreviated SAMHSA, which is the government agency responsible for overseeing the National Center for Trauma-Informed Care. According to SAMHSA, trauma results from an event, series of events, or set of circumstances that is experienced by an individual as physically or emotionally harmful or threatening that has lasting adverse effects on the individual's functioning and physical, social, emotional, or spiritual well-being. So you can learn from these definitions that there really is no set definition of what constitutes a traumatic event. A traumatic event can be something that happens one time, like a car accident, house fire, or a natural disaster. It can be something that happens repeatedly over time, such as chronic physical abuse or neglect or it can be a set of circumstances that converge to result in an experience of trauma. Ultimately, the experience of trauma results from a situation that overwhelms a person's ability to cope and leaves the person with a sense of helplessness. Who does trauma affect? Trauma is universal. It can affect anyone. It doesn't matter how old you are, what race you are, or what your gender or sexual orientation are. Trauma does not discriminate. It can affect anyone, and as we will learn, research indicates that at some point, trauma does affect almost everyone. So if everyone experiences trauma, everyone gets it, why should we even worry about it? We have to worry about it, because trauma is incredibly destructive. Lots of studies have shown that exposure to trauma in childhood can have absolutely devastating consequences throughout the lifespan. Childhood trauma, defined as a traumatic event experienced any time before the age of 18, has been associated with a significantly increased risk of negative health and social outcomes. Let's look at some examples of this. Childhood trauma is strongly associated with mental health disorders in adulthood. More than half of the people who seek psychiatric care as adults either experienced abuse or neglect in childhood or witnessed domestic violence. Childhood trauma is strongly linked to substance abuse disorders. For example, in two-thirds of individuals suffering from alcoholism, the addiction is directly attributed to childhood trauma. And 75% of women in substance abuse treatment have been sexually abused or raped at some point in their life. Trauma in childhood is linked to increased risk of disease and disability in in adulthood, including significant increases in rates of liver disease, COPD, autoimmune disease, ischemic heart disease, and lung cancer. Individuals who are victims of traumatic events in childhood are also at a significantly increased risk of further victimization in adulthood through both domestic violence and rape. Across the lifespan, individuals who have experienced a traumatic event are more likely to be incarcerated. For example, in California, 70% of prisoners have been in foster care at some point in their childhood meaning that they were also subjected to neglect or abuse significant enough to require their removal from their biological parents. Exposure to trauma also correlates with a statistically significant decrease in life expectancy.